March 3rd. Alert, correct attitude, replies when questioned. The nurses report that the patient is calm. She washes and looks after herself. She affirms the existence of a certain Amara. She says that Amara is a patient who disappeared when she was moved to this ward. No confirmation. Probably a regressive hallucination. Evaluate transfer. Did I imagine Amara? That's not possible. She was there. I know she was there. I feel it. She must have left some traces of her presence. These are Amara's things, I'm certain. Amara, there she is. She existed. She really did exist. There she is, my friend. March 12th, 1938. The young girl, Renee, arrived today. Poor thing, she was terrorized. You see? She remembers the first time we met. I talked to her mother, the dear lady, and she expressed her fears to me, and I promised I'd keep an eye on her daughter. The lady told me her daughter's doll had been taken away, and this worried her. Because when she becomes depressed, as she is now, Renee barricades herself in her room and can't communicate. The doll becomes her voice, eyes, and ears. Dr. B said I'll soon get out of here. I'm sorry. I'm so sad to leave Renee. I won't be able to protect her anymore. My poor friend. She was hoping to be able to get out of here, but nobody ever leaves this place. That poor girl is really ill. I am the only one she ever speaks to. I told her I was leaving, and she stared at me, saying that I would never leave. It was quite unnerving, and then she started to cry. I felt like crying, too. She didn't say anything else. What worries me is that I'm sure that terrible man is watching her. He was the one who brought her here, and of all the good people, why did it have to be him? She knew. I told her everything. She knew about that man. That's why they wanted to make her disappear from my life. But I instructed a nurse friend of mine to keep an eye on her, and I'm sure she will, because she's a good woman. Her friend the nurse, I vaguely remember. She worked on this ward. Here we are together. How could I have imagined for a single moment that she never existed? She worked mostly in the Maragliano Pavilion. Let's get out of here and find that pavilion. Renée was alone here. Charlotte had abandoned her. And without Charlotte, Renée couldn't communicate with the outside world. Mother knew that. She's kind to everyone, even me. I felt a little better when I saw her. The sick children laughed and played with her. Not even they could frighten me. Don't annoy Renee. She's a princess here. Didn't you know? She told stories. She said there was a war out there. But they stared at me. And frightened me. They would come to look for me in the evening and then no one would have protected me. Not even you, Charlotte. Am I right?
My name is Renee. They told me that I have to write this diary, but I don't feel like it. It's not true that I feel better when I write. Actually. did not disturb me. I was able to talk to her, and so she became my best friend. At least until I was in grade two, when everything changed. She did nothing, and if I had to say something to my mother, I asked her to say it. When things inside me turned bad, she was the only one I could turn to. Now all of this makes me blush, but Charlotte was a real friend to me. Always there, under the surface, 
ready to strike even harder. 